Achieved with CryEngine. At the beginning was an idea. I asked myself whether a first-person realistic medieval combat system could be implemented into a game. In other words, could this be brought into the game in a way that a normal person could control it with mouse and keyboard? I thought about it for a while and came to the conclusion that it could. Basically, I had no clue how it should look, but I knew for sure it doesn't look as in the majority of games and movies. The combatants don't spend most of the time in a clinch, and it really doesn't have much in common with ballet. The sword fighter's objective isn't to attack his opponent's sword, but his body. Despite a common misconception, you can move around in armor surprisingly well. So, how should it really look then? To find out, we started studying medieval manuscripts and collaborating with people who are using them to bring European martial arts to life. And we also tried ourselves, both in theory and practice. It was a lot of fun, but then came the hard part, to transfer all those ideas into a game. Our programmers and animators had to take this very ambitious idea and implement it with the aid of physics and thousands of animations. You have some system that uh, could work gameplay-wise and uh, you cannot just put the real animations in it and hope that it will work. It's, uh, you need to find a way how to insert the real fight into these systems. Uh, so at the end it is historical reconstruction of some kind and still it's a lot of fun. <laughs> We've made a lot of prototypes, but nothing worked. The hardest part was that there were too many combinations requiring a huge amount of combat moves. We realized we had to base the system on physics and procedural animations. We've developed special algorithms that help the animation to solve problems with the collision of weapons. That allowed us to drastically decrease the amount of animations needed. Of course, for us, the sheer amount of work was a challenge in itself. We have 2,000 animations just for one weapon. That's days here in mocap studio and months in front of the computer to make the animations look cool. The biggest challenge, however, was to make the animations look convincing and historically accurate. The whole system is based on the historical fencing, but there are some details that we had to do differently. You see, in real-life historical fencing, you train really hard to be lightning fast to catch your opponent off guard. In a game, however, the player reacts slower, so you have to do these big, broad motions to telegraph where you're gonna strike next. What we needed to do was to find the proper technique for every situation, to connect the every game system with appropriate historical moves. And uh, actually, this kind of reconstruction was the hardest part of the combat design because you have a gameplay and you have a realism and you somehow want to do justice to both. What we actually tried to reconstruct was the feeling of the combat. It's actually the main reason why it is first person. In this game you should feel threatened by the enemy. You should see every small movement and be able to react to it. You should feel the sword in your hand. With every weapon, you have two basic attacks to different parts of the body. And if you manage to change particular strikes, uh, you carry out a special devastating technique. 
Our characters have 36 zones that can be hit, and we calculate armor or body collisions with a weapon for each of them. The physics is used for all collisions, and that allows swords to slide on bodies or shields. Blocking in real fight is an instinctive action, so the most important part is actually the timing, and we created a game by around the timing. On the other hand, it's still an RPG game, so if you are not uh, fast enough, you just need to level up, and then you are faster, your enemies are slower and more predictable for you. So, this is our combat system. I dare to say that despite all the compromises that you need to do when making a game, it is the most authentic depiction of European martial arts to date. And most importantly, it's fun to play, according to the initial reactions of our backers. But I will leave the final judgment to you.